Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We're going to be reviewing a dash cam today. I was sent this by Pelsey. It's a two channel dash cam. And channel, when it says two channel, all that means is it's got two cameras with it. You wouldn't know that it had a rear camera though, because it's not on the box. It's like, don't sell yourself short. Put a picture of the rear camera on there as well. So I will show you what's inside the box in a second. I won't go into too much of the tech side of it. We'll just see it in action. In the box there, you'll see the camera, the rear camera that is. And just below the box, you'll see the main camera there, the front camera. There's the rear camera. See, I told you it did have one. It's got some funny connections. I've not seen these connections at all, ever. So I don't know how they're going to pan out. I haven't put it in the car yet, obviously. I'm doing this on the computer at the moment before putting it into the car, before installing it. So we'll get to see what that's like. I can see one sort of drawback on it already, I've got to say, is the thickness of that cable there. The one that goes into the main camera, the front camera, that's quite meaty. And that's why you've got some sticky feet, I think, to just put it onto the windscreen rather than trying to tuck it in your interior. Now, it comes with the sticky feet there, like I say, which I think you're going to need that crowbar thing and a little screwdriver, which is a bit unusual. That's the main camera. It's well packaged. So even if your postman's a bit rough, it's not going to damage it. So that's the main camera there, the front camera. I keep calling it a main camera, but... It's the front camera. It is quite small. It looks really small in my hands and I have got quite big hands. Sorry, I had a little chuckle there because I do realize what I just said has another meaning. If you've got a dirty mind, that is. So let's crack on and do what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh, I've gone. Two hours later. Okay, I'm back in the room. We had some technical issues there i.e. me technically acting like a child but we're back now so where was i um yeah so it comes with the sticky pads and spare sticky pads it's powered by the cigarette lighter but the one thing that you're gonna really like which shocked me is the price of this thing look at that i have dash cams that are 250 pounds but this is a front and rear dash cam for 89 pounds and you can get a £20 voucher off of that. You see that voucher there? £20 voucher off of it as well. We just run through the uh, tech of it as I'm running the mouse down the side there. You can see exactly what it does. Amazing price. Absolutely amazing. I mean, when you look at the spec up there of a 4K camera, 1080p on the rear camera, voice control, it looks pretty good for 89 quid. We'll put it in the car now and we'll see how good this really is. But before we do that, we have to have a little look at the app because there is only one button on this dash cam so I don't fancy messing about too much in the car with it because it is very small. So I've opened up the uh, app, as you can see, it's a picture of my kitchen at the moment. we we'll just run through a few of the things that I always check when I get a new dash cam of what I want. I want it to be shooting in the best resolution possible. And a few things that I always like to check, like the loop, recording duration I would never have it as one minute I always have it at three minutes and formatting your SD card as well you always got to format your card in the device that you get it's no good format it in something else you always have to do it in the device that you get so start afresh in that so I'm just changing a couple of things I always have it at the best possible resolution as I said I change the loop recording make sure it's shooting in 4k which it is and you'll see me change the loop duration as well from one minute to three minutes and that's it that's pretty much it we're ready to go now started so we're in a random place just off of rose hill roundabout now heading we're going to be heading in towards Sutton just we're just going to go for a little drive nothing major happens on the drive it's just literally to test how this camera works and I think with this camera you've just got to keep bearing in mind just how cheap it is obviously there are better cameras out there better lenses and all that sort of stuff but they come with a higher price obviously so if you're not too bothered about that maybe have a look at little look at this I mean, it picks out things pretty well, you know. Number plates, for me, it's not that good. It's a little bit hazy. 
if you have to zoom in on these number plates I don't think you're going to get a clear shot of them but you're going to be able to see most things that happen in front of you which is what you want from a dash cam I guess unless you're one of these people that likes to report everyone and you, then you definitely need a better camera and be able to zoom in on the uh, number plates it's a bit of a miserable day as well so it's it's got to work hard because it's grey it's very grey it's actually a lot darker than what it looks so it's doing quite a good job there so we're coming into Sutton now and as I said earlier there was no real proper incidents or anything like that that we're gonna see we're just we're just reviewing this camera I mean it picks out the colors quite nicely from the B&Q there on the left and as you can see there are quite a few reflections coming up from my dashboard hitting the windows and that you get that with a lot of uh, dash cams it does you do have to tinker around with them to try and put them in a in a better place and keep looking at your app to see if there's reflections um, trouble is I'm running out of space on my dashboard because I've got two cameras there already and this is the third so I've got three cameras on my dashboard at the moment or my windscreen I should say so it's becoming a little bit crowded it's a good job that this dash cam is actually quite small now this is the only thing that I saw that was uh, bad driving I guess unusual driving more than anything else the guy in front of us here why is he pulling so far out to the right watch this I mean why is he out there look at all that space where the pumpkin is we are coming quite close to Halloween just a bit weird why he needs all that space and we've got a bit of blue sky in front of us but here's the issue that I had we're looking at the rear camera now can you spot what's wrong yeah it's flipped everything is back to front and I don't know why we're round the wrong way now as a dyslexic as a dyslexic man this confused the hell out of me and I don't know if in the settings you can put that right that's a bit weird I mean the, the roads that I'm on at the moment they're all one way so you wouldn't get it but you can see by the road markings there and the guy's number plate behind me yeah I don't know why it's flipped around you get to see it a little bit better here when I've well I was turning left there not right although it looks like I'm turning right there that was a left turn because it's all ass about face so you'll see see now what I mean it's a little bit it is unusual seeing it all back to front like that so this here is the turning that I was just doing but from the front camera obviously and I am turning left so the review is almost over let us know in the comments down below what you think of the camera let us know what you think about my review am I getting better at this or am I getting worse uh, I'm still well out of my comfort zone doing these sort of things but sometimes I do actually quite enjoy doing something a little bit different I will be giving this camera away to one lucky viewer I don't know how yet I've still got to do the Carpio ride one I haven't actually finished that one yet I've been just so busy at work that it's uh, overtaken my YouTube in at the moment so uh, I'll get back to you on that one anyway guys thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.